The following is a production of New Mexico State University. With the dawn of every harvest season comes the influx of invasive weeds and insects to the Navajo Nation. These pests invade and destroy healthy, productive crops. Sometimes pest population control is a necessary step to assure that crops survive and are as plentiful as possible. Natural enemies will take care of some of the pests, but the rest is up to the farmer. Timely crop rotation, removal of the food that pests eat, and planning the timing of planting, growing, and harvesting will get rid of some of these pests. But pesticides are often still needed to achieve economic control. The single most important step in using pesticides is to always read the label and follow the directions on the label exactly. You are responsible by law for any damage caused by pesticides to people or property. By reading the label on the pesticide container, you will have all the information you need to protect yourself and others. First, determine the pest you need to control and which chemical is best fit to control it. Selective pesticides will kill only the weed or insect that is its target. Non-selective pesticides can kill more than just the target. There are many different types of pesticides. Each is named based on the pest it is designed to control. Once the type of pesticide is determined, the formulation can be selected. Formulations are either liquid or dry. There are four types of liquid formulations. Solutions are one formulation that comes ready for use and requires special application equipment. Flowables must be mixed with water. Aerosols in low concentration are often used indoors as a fine spray or mist. Liquefied gas fumigants turn into gas when applied. Some are packed in pressure containers. But before attempting to use any of these pesticides, be sure and read and understand all the instructions on the label. Pesticide labels include the following information how to use the product correctly and safely, the brand name, and the type of formulation. Active ingredients will be listed by common name and by chemical name. All other non-active ingredients will also be listed. Net contents and the manufacturer of the product will be named. It is critical when using a pesticide that you are aware of its toxicity. The label will indicate if the pesticide is highly toxic, moderately toxic, or if it is a less toxic formulation. Essential first aid and physician information for pesticide poisoning treatment is contained on the label in case of an accidental poisoning. The labels also indicate which pests will be controlled and how, where, and when the pesticide is to be applied. Again, it is illegal to use any pesticide if you do not follow the instructions on the label. There are a few simple but important safety measures you must take to protect yourself when using pesticides. Make sure your body is fully covered and that you are wearing neoprene gloves. These gloves should be long enough to protect your wrists. Shirt sleeves should be outside your gloves to keep pesticides off your hands. Cotton gloves are dangerous unless the pesticide label indicates otherwise. Wear long sleeve shirts, pants, and coveralls that will fit outside your gloves and boots to protect from spills. Goggles or a face shield are also necessary protection when using pesticides. After you have used the pesticide, change your clothes immediately. Wash your gloves, hat, face shield, and boots every day and check gloves for leaks. Never store or wash work clothing with the family laundry. Be sure to read and follow the directions on pesticide labels exactly, otherwise pesticides can be lethal. Breathing vapors or skin contact is one of the most common methods of pesticide poisoning. Pesticides can enter your skin in greater amounts than you could swallow or inhale. Pesticide drifts can be dangerous, so when mixing and pouring pesticides, keep them below eye level and work with the wind to your side. Operate equipment so that the pesticide drift is away from you. Keep unauthorized people and children away when using pesticides. This will help avoid accidental eating or drinking. Know the signs and symptoms of pesticide poisoning so that first aid can be administered immediately. A person with mild pesticide poisoning will exhibit signs of fatigue, headache, dizziness, blurred vision, excessive sweating, 
nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, and diarrhea. Moderate pesticide poisoning will include all of these symptoms, plus the inability to walk, weakness, chest discomfort, muscle twitches, and constriction of pupils. With severe poisoning, the person will become unconscious, experience severe pupil constriction, muscle twitches, secretions from the mouth and nose, and difficulty breathing. If pesticide poisoning occurs, call the paramedics immediately. Then read the label for any first aid information. Pesticide labels contain practical treatment information. If skin contact has been made, remove the pesticide quickly. If the pesticide has been splashed in the mouth or swallowed, rinse the mouth out immediately. Pesticides can be used safely if labels are read, proper equipment and protective clothing is worn, and directions are followed precisely. Pesticide users must also take their environment into consideration. When wind drifts occur, the pesticide is moved outside of the target area and can be harmful to non-target plants, animals, water, and people. Do not apply pesticides in moderate or strong winds. Use a low-pressure spray to avoid drift. Pesticide runoff can kill fish and wildlife and leach through the soil, contaminating groundwater. One of the most important ways you can protect your environment is with the careful storage and transportation of pesticides. The recommended way to carry pesticides is to place the container in a plastic tub or bucket. This tub should be large enough to hold the contents of the original container should it leak or break. Secure the plastic tub in the bed of a pickup truck. Store pesticides in its original labeled container. The storage building should have a cement floor. Always store pesticides away from water or streams. Always store pesticides in a cool, dry place out of direct sunlight. If pesticides are spilled, confine the spill by building a dike or by soaking up the spill with sawdust or soil. Once soaked up, shovel into a leak-proof container for disposal into a special pesticide landfill. Wash containers at least three times before disposal. All containers must be destroyed or buried after use. Pesticide use is a safe and simple way to control pests. Just remember that the most common mistake in pesticide use is made by ignoring one or two safety procedures or pieces of equipment. Every procedure and piece of equipment listed on the label is important. As long as they are properly used, pesticides will help produce plentiful, healthy crops today and in the future. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.